Hey friends, it's Carol, Saltbox Stitcher, back for video number, hmm, I think it's 57. Oh, it's 57. <laughs> oh, this is getting to be a regular intro here. Um, I know it's not Thanksgiving yet. I know people don't like to rush the holidays, but I am going to show you a lot of Christmas because that's what I've been working on. And, um, in a week or so, we'll be decorating. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you Christmas. So that's that's just the way it is. <laughs> so Christmas, my husband didn't get his cue. Christmas! <laughs> He's a little slow, but he does finally get it. Uh, he's been playing Santa for quite a while at our household. But anyway, so what have I been stitching? And then I'll show you a little bit of haul. I'm also going to show you a few framed pieces that I have. Um, I didn't get the patterns for those. The smalls, I have a lot of smalls sitting around me, and I will show you the patterns for those. And um, then a few things that I want to stitch. I also have, like, some gifts that I need to finish up. One for my daughter, I haven't even started. So anyway, I have lots of things I on my plate, but I'm, I'm realistic enough to know that I will not get to all of them. And yes, I did get a haircut. Thanks for noticing. Just yesterday. So it's a little like too fresh. You know, when you first get a haircut and you have to be like, okay, it, give me a day or three days until it kind of settles down and goes where it's supposed to go. So anyway. I finished stitching three things and I FFO'd two of them. I have to look around. Sort of, <laughs> sort of. Okay, so um, one is Stacy Nash and two are Brenda Gervais. Now, I will tell you, one of the Brenda Gervais ones is not available. It's the same thing that I stitched for my gift when I went to the um, Farm Girl, Dry, Farm Girl re re uh, Retreat in Amana Colonies. This was what I stitched for my gift for the Smalls Exchange. So I came home and I stitched it again for myself. This is the pattern. Oops, let me take it out of the plastic. It's called Snowy Meadow. I think I showed you a picture from my phone or inserted a picture last time. But I decided I really wanted to stitch it for myself. Snowy Meadow, I did just that top. I didn't do the words, just the top. I did change two of the colors. The red, I changed to DMC 816, and the white, I changed to Weeks Whitewash. It's the same thing I did for the, I even did the same backing. Now, when I gave this, there were a couple of people that asked Brenda Gervais, and she said, no, I'm not going to reprint that old pattern. So... But this is how I finished it. I put red rickrack. Again, this is some mini rickrack that I had gotten from Brenda. And I actually thought I would have enough from what I had for when I did the um, piece for the gift or from the exchange. And I didn't have enough and I was kind of like, oh, I want some more of that exact rickrack. It's a, like a mini rickrack. I don't know what size it is, but... Um, because I think they come in millimeters. But anyway, I realized I had another kit of hers that had the red rack, red, okay, say that 20 times fast, red rick rack in it. So I went ahead and finished it. I just have finished these like in the last evening and this morning. And some of them I haven't gotten stu stuffed yet that I've wanted to get FFO'd. I'm not a great finisher. I certainly understand why people pay money to have finishing done because it's worth it if you get somebody that really does good finishing. Mine's adequate. It's just adequate 
for me. So anyway, I finished this one and fully finished it, and that is Snowy Meadow. I do have the pattern um, committed to a couple of people because they want to stitch it, and I said I, they're friends. Um, I know Niecy Lynn, she will take a list I, I don't know if I'll do that or not. When I finally get it back from the second person, then I'll I'll maybe put out um, information if somebody is like dying to stitch it. But anyway, Brenda Gervais has so many cute things and we have plenty to stitch. So it is what it is. The other thing I finished, sort of fully finished, <laughs> is this one by Stacy Nash called December 25th. I think I had started this last time. I don't remember. I don't remember what happened yesterday, so. I feel pe bad for people who really have memory issues. Mine are just kind of old age. Um, my hard drive's full. That's <laughs> what I told my grandson. He's like, why don't you remember that? I said, my hard drive's full. He's like, oh, okay, I get that. Anyway, um, now I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Proof positive. <laughs> oh, I know. My husband's an occupational, retired occupational therapist. He always said, it's not that you can't find your keys. It's that you don't know what keys are for. So I don't have that kind of memory issue yet. Thank goodness. But anyway, and I feel bad for people that do and are dealing with parents that have that. So I'm not making light of it at all. But um, anyway, I finished that December 25th. It says Merry, Qu Merry Christmas. I guess I'm into the snowman theme. I don't, oh, what did I stitch this on? I think this might, it's either Beach Brew or Winter Brew by R&R. Uh, &R. I stuff with sawdust and um, my husband gives me bags, Ziploc bags full of sawdust from the garage. And then what I do is I use a fun, I leave an opening at the bottom and I use a funnel and I use a chopstick. And then if it gets stuck in the funnel, then I will, um, my husband just indicated, do I want him to bring over the bag of sawdust? No, it's fine. Y'all understand. Anyway, I use a funnel and a chopstick. And the chopstick has a skinny end and it has a fat end. On the skinny end, I use it if it gets stuck in the funnel. Then the fat end I use to push it down. Is that too much information? I don't know. And then I close up. And I, you really have to work to get it into the corners. But I love the way sawdust feels. It's sturdy and yet it's it doesn't like move around. It's not as... Um, I guess pliable as like uh, walnut crystals, which I have used in the past. And that tends to be more like a bean bag. So anyway, I finished stitching and fully finished. Now I will add some sort of trim on this probably. Um, I really like that little rickrack, but I don't want everything with rickrack. So I may do cording or I may just leave it blank. I don't know, we'll see. So that I finished stitching and fully finished. And then the next one that I finished stitching, and it's also semi-finished, is this one, Holiday Hoopla, also by With Thy Needle and Thread. This one came in a kit that I got at the 2019 Farm Girl Retreat in the fall. And, um, I finished stitching it. I believe this one is on, uh, let me tell you what it calls for, because I know that's what the kit would have included. Well, please, Winter Brew. I thought it might be Winter Brew. And then I used all the called for, and I just temporarily put it in this hoop and then, you know, you cut around here and then you stitch a running stitch around and draw that up. And then the instructions say to put a little bit of batting or polyfill in here. So it kind of uh, 
Well, it not only hides your stitches, it just gives it a little bit of oomph. I just temporarily tied that bow on. I'll make a loop and a bow. And then you fold that in once you've gathered that. And then use, um, you know, like scrapbooking paper. And I don't have any scrapbooking paper that's Christmas, so I still need to get some of that. So that's why I haven't fully, fully finished it. But I want to get something that kind of matches the ribbon or whatever. Now I could put fabric on there, but, and do it like a piece. I think you're supposed to put a piece of cardboard in there too. So we'll see how I finish it, but um, that'll make a cute little ornament on one of my smaller trees. So that's Holiday Hoopla by Brenda Gervais done on 36 count winter brew with the called for colors. Oh, that December 25th, I used uh, DMC and I used all of the called for. And then the next thing that I'm working on, I was hoping to finish this last night, but we had the grandkids for a little while. So I didn't get very much stitching done. I don't think I even went in to stitch until like 10 o'clock or 11, something like that. Anyway, um, is I'm working on this one, hold on. This is Santa's Tree Farm. Again, I got this kitted from Brenda Gervais at that 2019 retreat. So I don't have a lot left on this. I have the ribbon that goes with it. And what I've done, because um, at the time, I, I can't remember if the little hoop came with it or not um, when I got the kit. I know the ribbon and the fabric and the threads came with it but it has this little oval hoop. So I can't remember if I bought it at her shop or if it came with it, but either way, I have the hoop. And I may, I may stain this one because I like the color of this one versus this. So I may just put a little bit of stain on it to get it so it's not so naked looking. Anyway, so this is as far as I am on that one. So I'm just working on another tree. I'm working on these trees down here and these trees, and the trees go really fast. Let me take it out of the plastic. So the trees go really fast. Again, this is called Santa's Tree Farm by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. And then those little reindeer and then more snowflakes. So, um, I should finish that one tonight. I need to quilt. Um, I think I have nine quilts to do, which by the way, I have two customers coming today. So I may pause, but you won't know I'm gone because my husband will just hook them all together. So I'm telling you all that for nothing. So anyway, that's where I am on that, and hopefully I'll finish that. And what I did from some of these kits that I had, because she gives you full skeins in the kit, so I just, just like I do Blackbird, um, I'll put all of the ones that I'm working on on a ring, because a lot of them have the same colors. Okay, then I'm gonna show you some things that I actually finished last year, but I never fully finished. They're still not completely full. That's my buttons on the table. Sorry if that's irritating noise. It's kind of irritating me, so I understand. <laughs> anyway, I finished these last year, but I haven't um, stuffed them and put um, trim or anything around them. And I'm gonna be doing that in the next few days because I have all of my, all that stuff is out. So this one is called Be Merry Pin Pillow. It's by Chessie and Me. I, I don't know if this was a kit or not. If it was a kit, I got it at Country Sampler. But this is available. Be Merry Pin Pillow. And this is where I am. I finished that. Put some, I had a hard time finding a fabric that wasn't too, um, forest green. I wanted something that matched those trees, so I just used a plaid. 
I don't like to use something that's like too big a scale for um, the pin pillows. That's why a lot of times I'll use checks or a little tiny print, but something that isn't scale with. So there it is, Be Merry pin pillow. I don't know what it's stitched on. Mm, let me see here what it called for. Vintage Meadow Rue Linen, 36 count. I don't, I really don't know what I used. I mean, I could, I could figure it out, but any kind of a neutral linen that kind of has a gr tannish gray, not tan, brownish gray kind of. So I've got it sewn. I have the hole in the bottom so that I can stuff it and I'll be working on that one to finish it. Then I have another one that I finished last year. This was a country sampler. I honestly don't know if this was um, like a club or if this was a just a kit. This one is called Country Sampler Sleigh Bells Pin Keep and Ornament. So I have them both stitched. This is the small one. And I just put a pin with some, a bell and some star. So that's the bottom part. The top part, I have it, it must have been a kit because I don't think I would have picked that kind of neutral. I would have probably picked something with a little more color, but I think it came as a kit. So anyway, I still have to stuff this. So it's finished, but not fully finished. Country Sampler, Sleigh Bells, Pin Keep and Ornament by Stacy Nash. So I have to finish that. And when I sit down to stuff, I, if I'm in the living room, versus in my sewing room. I'll put a towel over the hassock and then I'll put a um, rotary cutting mat and then try not to get it everywhere because sawdust is messy. I love it, but it's messy. And there again, I put a trim on this one, just a gold mini Rick Rock. Um, these are different. Well, maybe they are the same fabric. I, I guess maybe they are the same fabric. There's a couple of them I've done that aren't necessarily the same fabric. But I'm not sure. I may use the same gold. I don't know. We'll see. I just like to do something around the edge to kind of finish it. So it's a little more tailored. Um, this is the next one. And again, this one, for some reason, I have fiber fill in here. And I'm not sure why. I know I stitched it. I don't know. Anyway, I don't usually put fiber fill. But this one, this helps if I show you the pattern. This is Country Sampler Silent Night Pin Keep and Ornament. And these might have been part of a club. I just don't remember. But I think these are available. This is also by Stacy Nash. And this, I just finished stuffing this. There's still, there's, I mean, there's still sawdust hanging out all around it. So forgive me. And I still have to do something around this one. It's kind of a big pin pillow, but you know, sometimes, oh, I didn't even trim my thread. Sometimes you need something that's kind of bigger and then smaller ones to sit around it. So this is those two pieces. I know it's a little early for Christmas. You know, I got to thinking, maybe I should wait to show you some of this, but I just don't have that many, um, Thanksgiving type fall pieces, which is definitely something I need to work on. And in fact, I put it out here to show you. I have this one, Tom or Thomas. My friend did it. My friend did it. And she, in the space right here where it has the year, she put Tom, T O M, that's her husband's name. I think it was a subtle thing that he's a turkey. I don't know. <laughs> that was very clever. Anyway, I'm going to do it on um, 36 Count Ale by Picture This Plus. 
And a friend of mine gave me a conversion to um, Overdyes, but I hate to share something that isn't mine. I know Vonna Pfeiffer at one time had a conversion on her blog. So you might want to check that out. The Twisted Stitcher, Vonna Pfeiffer. Showed you that, showed you that. Okay. The next one. I'm trying to separate ones that I want to stitch from ones I've stitched. Hold on here. I also have a bunch of them back here. So hopefully we'll get to all of them. This is Snow for Christmas. Also by Brenda Gervais. Brenda Gervais. Stacy Nash and Plum Street. I know there's a lot of others too. Hands-on design. Um, there's just a lot of really cute Christmas, well, all smalls. And I kind of just made myself decide that I really wanted to get some smalls done in between samplers. So that's why I'm kind of on this thing to do a lot of these Christmas smalls. Where I'm gonna put them all, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just stack them up here. Anyway, this one is called Snow for Christmas. Santa on a sheep pulling a snowman. It's called Snow for Christmas by With Thy Needle and Thread. I don't know if I finished this one last year or the year before. I really don't know. I want to say last year, but here it is. I put a stripe on the back. I have a big star. This is court cording that I used. Snow for Christmas. Oops, if I don't put them back in the pattern, I will end up with a bunch of plastic bags that <laughs> don't match anything. Because that's just me. The next one is a sta also Stacy Nash. A lot of these I got from Country Sampler. And this one is called Snowed In Pin Keep and Ornament. These again I did last year. This one is the snow. This is all the called for. And this one is the pin keep or the um, ornament. Well, I guess this one's called the pin keep, but I did it as a flat piece. Again, so I'd have something that would stand up. I'm not 100% sure I love this trim, but I do think it complements all the snow and everything. I don't usually do white, but, but I like this, you know, the whole bow, obviously. <laughs> I've done it on about five things. <laughs> Oh, a bow, a rusty pin, a star. Just kind of adds a little bling. So that one's just a flat. So again, that is Snowed In Pin Keep and Ornament by Stacy Nash. Most of these I did in the last between last year and this year. No, not this year. Most of them I did last year. This is my gift that I got and I showed this, one of the, was it last time or the time before? My gift that I got at the Farm Girl Retreat. And the reason I'm showing it to you again is I have had a lot of people ask for the name of the pattern. It's kind of hard to read there, but it's called Letters for Santa. Letters for Santa. I'm assuming you can get this on uh, Country Stitches Online, which is Brenda's web store. I did look the other day and she's back open again as of yesterday, the 18th, something like that. So I'll rush right over and see if she still has this. Letters for Santa. And you can see she basically did a very similar finishing, except she added all this wonderful stuff. She did put a trim here. 
um, I just love it. So a lot of people asked about that pattern, so I wanted to show you that. Okay, this one I showed you last time. I have picked out a fabric for the backing and I just need to stuff it and put the trim on it. I did get the trim and this, I've already painted that. So literally I need to stuff it and put the trim on it and that'll be done. I was hoping to have all these FFO'd, but life happens. This is another one that I stitched and I've sewn to the backing, another check. This is by Threadwork Primitives, and this one is called Christmas Fruit Basket. Threadwork Primitives. And I just need to stuff it. I may not, I don't know if I'll put trim on this. I don't know. I think it's adorable, I, lo I love it. And I, I have quite a few Threadwork Primitive patterns, but I haven't stitched as many as I'd like to, so. This is by Lottie Da. It's called a Merry Christmas Sampler. I know this one was a kit because it's got wool on the back. And I don't usually put wool on the back. I, I have no problem. I like the wool on the back. I just usually pick a cotton since I have enough fabric <laughs> to outfit a million people for a million years. Anyway, Merry Christmas, Lottie Da. A Merry Christmas sampler. And this one, 40 count pecan butter. It's definitely 40 count. I'd say it's probably pecan butter. It's a neutral. I love doing this. I thought this one was really fun. I have more that I just haven't found. <laughs> There's somewhere in this house. But I know, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, that was kind of a loud noise. There's a lot of things I know I've stitched. And then I start thinking, well, did I give it away? Or did I, can I just not find it? Because <laughs> I don't want to spend time looking for something that I gave away. I know a few things that I've given away as gifts. Like in ornament exchanges with stitching friends. But there's a couple of them I'm like, I thought I had this. I know I've stitched it. Anyway, somebody asked me if I remember everything I've stitched and I generally, I do. Now, where it is and where the, what the pattern's name is, forget that. <laughs> the next one is one that I stitched a couple years ago, Brenda Gervais, and it's called A Merry Noel or just Merry Noel. And this is it. I just put a bow and a Rusty Bell, I did not put trim. It's filled with sawdust, but it's kind of settled. So I easily could open it up and put some more sawdust in it. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. They're all my favorites, but some are kind of special. <laughs> like your children, you know. You love them all, but no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Two more and then I have four framed pieces I want to show you and then I'm going to show you haul and I'm not going to show you quilts because I have a few things that are either about to be quilted because I finished them or I'm um, working on them. So the next one is by Artful Offerings and I know this was a country sampler kit with a conversion. And this was the conversion. And there again, this one has kind of settled. I could easily add more sawdust to it. So this is it. And the name of this is Horse Country Holiday. I used the big fat Rick Rack. This is how, I'm pretty sure this is how Country Sampler had it finished. I don't know what's on there. Somebody probably picked it up, up with, um, who knows? <laughs> Things in my house don't stay perfect. I have grandkids, I have, there's just people. <laughs> there's people acting like people. <laughs> Again, 
horse country holiday not the colors at all i use the country sampler conversion so if you're interested check that out with them i have other christmas smalls i just am not showing you everything at the same time this one is in a frame but not framed this is by plum street and this one is called kringle and woolard i love this guy he is adorable it seems to me that I changed the color of the sheep lamb. It seems like I went to a little bit lighter or I used the light end of the um, light end. You know, if it was over dyed and it had a lot of variation, I used the lighter end for the outside, I mean the middle of the sheep and then the darker for the swirls. Oh yeah, I forgot his whole mitten is stitched over one right here. Yeah, okay. That was crazy time. The next few I have, I just know the name of them, but, and I can tell you, but I didn't get the patterns out. This is the first one. These are the frame pieces that I have. This is Christmas at Hollyberry Farm by Stacy Nash. I stitched this probably maybe three years ago. I don't know. This is where I should have the name on the back so my husband will not be paranoid when I die. Anyway, that's Christmas at Hollyberry by Stacy Nash. This is a Loose Feathers Not Available by Blackbird and to All a Good Night. This was fun. A lot of bricks, but very fun. That was whatever the kit came with originally. This is a Yuletide Welcome by Plum Street. I've done Yuletide and I've done Ghoultide, but Ghoultide is not framed. And then I've also done Liberty Welcome. A lot of these live in my hallway, which is where I put some of the out of season um, stitches. I'll probably put some of them out though, when it's Christmas time. I think this is called Noel. Well, maybe not. It's definitely by Brenda Gervais with a needle and thread. Peace and Noel, I'm not sure. Now this I did a long time ago because I had this framed at the Old Mill Stitchery and they closed in 2016. So I stitched this a while ago. And I do know I made a lot of mistakes on this, but it's finished. And I think I corrected them, but I kind of struggled for a while. That was one of the first 40 count pieces I did. I just remember it definitely was on 40 count because I thought, oh, am I stepping out of my boundary here? but I love it. It turned out wonderful. I know a lot of people have done it in different colors, like linen, darker linen. Next, I'm gonna show you haul, and then I'll show you a few of the things I want to stitch, and then I probably will let you go. I mean, everybody's got a lot of stuff they're doing this holiday season. This one I also stitched, Stacy Nash, um, Merry Christmas Pin Keep, but I gave it as a gift. So I think I want to stitch it again for myself. I said haul, and instead I'm showing you what I want to stitch. The exact opposite of what I just said. What was I saying about not having issues? Maybe I do have issues. I don't know. Anyway, Merry Christmas pin keep. I stitched it on kind of a lighter linen for my friend, and I think I want to do it on a darker, like sand dune or something. I don't have it kitted, but um, I think I showed you that last time, this one, Hello Winter. These are all just stacked up by my chair. So when I finish the one I'm working on tonight, that little hoop, the oval hoop, I may pick one of these. I love this guy, Merry Old Soul. 
with my needle and thread, Brenda Gervais. He's he's the same as the peppermint pals on the te this one. Same type of um, persona. <laughs> this one, I really want to stitch this one. This is the one I stole the red rickrack out of, so I'll have to come up with something else when I go to finishing him. I do have the ribbon, it's all kitted. This one, another one I got kitted when I was at the Farm Girl Dry Goods Retreat. That's a lot of white stitching, but once you get going on that, I just, I just think they go pretty fast. Did I show you all these last time? I think I did. Mary three, they would go fast. Sampler house. These are all kitted ones that are just sitting by my chair waiting. Um, haul. Oh wait, here's another one that I finished, but I haven't fully finished. I, I think I want this one framed. This is all bundled up. And I've done the, I think I've done the bunny, the snowman, and the, is it a black cat? No. It's on that Kermit green linen. Anyway, there's a couple of these. Same style. So this one I did, and I remember I specifically stitched on this one. Lindsay was in the hospital in 2019, so it's been a couple of years since I've finish this and I haven't gotten it framed. No excuse. He's cute. Okay, now we're at Hull. So I ordered the um, Hands Across the Sea Rose Featherstone from Hall, no, from Hobby House Needleworks. And I got it kitted, so I have the linen and the threads. I got the Averisua skeins. So I haven't even opened all that because it's just too fun. And it came with a little spiral. I think this is over. I'm not sure. Contact... Um, Hobby House Needleworks, if you're interested in this. It was definitely exclusive to their store. Rose Ada Featherstone. And there's also Jane Milner on the back. So that'll be something I wanna get to in the spring. I also got a uh, piece of linen this is from the Cross Stitch Nook. Oops. Let me see if she put. Um, this is a color. A friend of mine had this and was stitching on it. Did I show you this last week? I don't know. I know that's a lot of crinkling. I apologize. This is a shop on Etsy, the Cross Stitch Nook. And this is a new fox and rabbit color called Mayflower. Now there's also a Mayflower blend by r and r that was used for that Coming to America by With Thy Needle and Thread, but this is Mayflower by Fox and Rabbit. It's pretty fabulous neutral. So that's a fat half. And then if you haven't been to the felt pod, on Etsy, felt, F-E-L-T, pod, P-O-D. No more crinkling. You should go check them out because they have the cutest things. These are all felted wool. I got the star, three of the stars. I have a couple small trees like that I put on a table. So I thought those, I put another small one in the bathroom. These might be too big for the bathroom one, but these are just like little felted ornaments. Oh, 
little red felted wool. How adorable. Oh, my granddaughter. She's six. She really wanted to take some of these home with her. <laughs> no. I gave her one of the pumpkins one time, and then I was like over there. And I'm like, why'd you ever do that? I don't know. I'm like, okay, no more. And then I got some of the little trees in the different colors. Are those not adorable? And they're very reasonably priced. Very reasonably priced for all the work. So I'm anxious to put these on a couple of the little trees that I have. Also from Cross Stitch Nook, I just showed you their, showed you their card. Here it is. I'll try to put this in the drop down box. Cross Stitch Nook. She does a lot of project bags. This is one that I just recently got. It's a, the same kind of colors as those Brenda Gervais kits. So this will definitely house some of those. And then I was very excited because I ordered something from, this is called Early Things 1776. I don't know how they do these. They feel like they're painted so I don't know if it's a print and then paint over it. I just don't know. But anyway, it's this old world Santa. Is he not adorable? It says Merry Christmas. I'd like to put it in a frame. But my husband said, we'll have to be careful because the frame might cut off the Merry Christmas. So I don't know. I just think he's so cute. And it feels like I said, it feels like a painting. Again, early things and they're an Etsy shop. Anne and Bev, Anne and Beryl. I can't really read that. B-E-R-E-L or B-E-V, I don't know. Anyway, early things, 1776. They also do colonial portraits. So I also got a, I didn't bring it in here, but a Martha Washington to go with George. So that's in the other room. And then, and then, my daughter used, she used to watch these shows where the kids would unbox toys. I thought that was the stupidest. I'm like, you're just sitting there watching somebody unbox a toy. Yeah, mom, it's really fun. I mean, she was like, I don't know, middle school. And now what am I doing? Before your very eyes. Oh, life comes back to haunt you. Do you know that? <laughs> Ta-da! This Happy Morning by Plum Street. Kitted. I got the hog bristle. I think I read somewhere that the actual pattern is different if you get the black linen, but they're sold out on both of them. It's from Country Sampler and they're sold out on both of them, but I think they're gonna redo the kits in January if I read the newsletter correct. Oops, here we go. So once again, Country Sampler comes through with beautiful, beautiful. This happy morning. And the hog bristle linen is from Fox and Rabbit. You just watched it. And then I also got this pattern. I sometimes try to save this tissue paper because it's usually really cute tissue paper. This one is called Winter Berries. It's very, it got a lot of very neutrals. It's really not my colors, but um, I think I told you before, I do a lot of traditional reds at Christmas time. This looks like French General, but it may be Three Sisters by Moda. One of those. I mean, even the ribbon is fabulous. 
So I have some sewing to do. I also have a kit that I bought last year that I'm still working on. This is one of the quilt kits I'm working on. It's this one, Peppermint Lane. I have a couple blocks done. Obviously I didn't do anything but cut that one. But anyway, I have all the pieces I just need to, you know, I have tons of pieces. <laughs> Quarter square triangles that have been. So anyway, I need to sit down and just work on that. Okay, I have a mess here, but I think that's all. So next time I am going to uh, be having company or having out of town company in the weekend that would be after Thanksgiving, that would be two weeks from now. So I don't know if I'm gonna record early or record late but I definitely, it won't be on the weekend. So it'll either be Thursday before, if I have enough stuff to show, or Tuesday after the weekend. But either way, I'll be back at some point. So don't panic, don't panic, I'll be back. Hopefully I'll have more stitching done, although I have gifts to do, so I don't know if I'll be showing those to finish and all of that stuff. So does anybody wanna come help me clean up this mess? It's fine. I just hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. I hope you all know how blessed and thankful we should be for all the wonderful things that we have in our lives, including stitching and family and good food and just um, the comfort that we have compared to so many other places in the world. So I hope you all have a wonderful time. I hope you don't burn yourself out cooking or burn yourself, period, <laughs> while cooking. We are going to my daughter's house, um, the house they moved into um, early summer of 2020 is a big house and she has three ovens <laughs> and she has a freezer. I don't have a freezer except what's on the refrigerator, but three ovens. She has a double oven and then she has an oven with her stove. So guess who gets to have all of everybody over for a big holiday meals. So I have some William Sonoma Thanksgiving dishes that I'll pack up and I have certain things assigned to me, but we will have a wonderful time. And my son and his wife will be able to join us for the whole day. So I'm really looking forward to it. So it'll be good food, good times with family and I'm, it'll be wonderful. So anyway, I will see you at some point, maybe a little less than two weeks, maybe over two weeks, but I will see you at some time. So happy Thanksgiving. Love ya. Bye.